Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Dude, this is this is this is our most. Yet. This is a cakewalk. Public. I'm Dutch. I'm Jules. Dylan. Oh my gosh. Welcome to another drink through. Easy peasy. Um, okay. This isn't the entire Old Forester lineup, but it's it's a lot of the Old Forester lineup. <laughs> and it's much more than any sane person should try to drink in one sitting. But we're not sane. So we're going to drink through this lineup of Old Forester. Um, okay, I'm not going to show all the bottles right now, but we're going to quickly talk through what we got here. So uh, they do have an 86 proof version of it as well, and they do have a rye, and they have you know some other expressions that we don't have here. But we're going to kick things off with the 100 proof, and then we've got an old school four year age stated one that we're going to try just to see how it compares with urethane. It might be the the urethane bottles that are not safe. <laughs> Again, why are we doing this? I don't know. Um, then we've got the entire Whiskey Row lineup, the uh, 1870, 1887, 1910, 1920. Then we've got a 90 proof barrel pick down there in front of Jules. And then we've got Statesman, one of the house favorites here at Curiosity Public. Then we've got a birthday bourbon. This is the, 19, or, sorry, no. the 2018 <laughs> release. And then we've got a barrel strength bottle pick down there on the end. So, um, wow, it's like a Friday night. I guess wow, this is what Dylan does on a Friday night, and this is what we're doing this on is uh, Dylan's like Tuesday. This is Monday morning for all you guys. <laughs> <Tuesday>. <laughs> it's not, but um, all right, you guys ready to get started? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I'm excited. Okay, we're kicking things off with the uh, 100 proof regular old old Forester signature. I've always thought this is a good looking bottle. Yeah. I've always thought that, you know, Old Forester Brown Foreman puts out pretty fantastic products consistently. And um, yeah, think about the price and what you get. And then you think about all of the like the boutique sourced. Yeah, because yada, 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 yada. Yeah, cheap. I mean, I mean, the 86 on. proof is cheaper, but this is still, I mean, like 20 bucks, mm. right? Mm hmm. Great nose. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you get the fruit, you get the jam. Get a little bit of grain. Perfectly, perfectly suitable it's for great. whatever application. You could sip it neat. You could mix it. You wouldn't feel bad because it's cheap. You yeah. Get a lot of flavor at 100 proof. It's, it's a little bit muted. A little you bit. You know, there's a... It's a little rough. It kind of blends a little, a little bit. So specific fruit is a little bit difficult to tease out. But overall, you know, for the price, it's, it's a good starting drink. Right. All right. Uh, that's all the time we have. Yeah, we There's so go. many to get through. Let's, so, go. let's move on and try the crazy old, old foyer. All right, next up, we've got a pretty, actually, pretty unique bottle here. This is one that Dylan found in his bunker. Um, I mean, that's an old bottle. Carcinogens and all. Mm -hmm. And we do know that some of the older, old foresters had carcinogens in them. This, um, as you can see, it actually is age stated. It says right there, let's see if they get that shot. This whiskey is four years old. Um, there is a laser code on there, and if any of you guys are experts at these laser codes, uh, maybe you can tell us when this is from. The end of it does say 1972, so I don't think it's that old. I don't actually know, but again, like if anybody can identify it based on this labeling and can tell us the actual date, we'd love to know. Um, yeah, I think stuff I, think, I looked up. It could have been like in the 90s, or it could have been in the 70s. So I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, the the issue is that I think for the 80s. Um, a lot, some of these bottles had urethane in it, which is considered the, not so great. One of the reasons I don't think it's super old is it does have the plastic mm. around the, the plastic screw top cap. So I don't know. Uh, but my guess would be that this is more likely from the late 90s. Um, but it is age dated, four mm. years. So what do we, you guys get anything different on the nose? Yeah, yeah. much more. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it's fruitier. Yeah, yeah, fruitier. A lot of um, like distinct fruits are yeah. coming through now. 
right? I get peach. Yep. Wow. <laughs> wow. A lower proof, too, because this is wow. a... Yeah, what is the proof? 86. Wow. But... Definitely a, a treat, I gotta say. Blast from wow, the past. it's really flavorful. Yeah. It's, it's really smooth. flavorful. It's mm. really... Like, the, the finish is... You think that's the urethane? Maybe. Just, just give, like cancer. Give me some more. <laughs> um, I, I, dude, this is better. Yeah. This is better. This is definitely better. I, I remember finding that at like some random liquor store in the middle of nowhere. It and it was just collecting yeah. dust. And he had like a box of it in the corner. And mm. I pulled it out because I said, well, uh, it's an old label. So it's actually it's super tasty. <laughs> really, it's good. really good. I bought that for $10. Mm. Uh, really well spent $10, Dylan. Yep. Um, that's cool. But let's move on. All right, guys, we're hitting Whiskey Row now. This this was maybe two, three years ago. This These three kind of came out. Actually, sorry. These oh, yeah, three this, yeah. came out as the uh, the Whiskey Row from Old Forester. They had, you know, kind of matching um, uh, branding. This was their original batch, which is supposed to kind of, I guess, mimic the original version that mm -hmm. uh, George Gavin Brown crafted. Um, this one comes at you at 90 proof. So, you know, pretty low proof. And I would say of the Whiskey Row, really the only one that has a lot of heat is the 1920. Mm. I think the 1910 that came out later also. But for the most part, these two, the, the, the uh, 1870, 1870 and 1897, they're kind of overlooked. I actually was lobbying to not even include them in this drink through, but these guys were like, dude, you need, look at this. You gotta have the lineup. You gotta have the lineup. They did it for the gram. Look at the colors. Now, my question is, mm. how does it fare with the old, old Forester? You know what I'm gonna say? I, I would actually say that I would pick either one of these. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like in the same thing. The, uh, the Hunter Proof is bolder, it punches a little bit more. It's, mm -hmm. little, it's rougher around the edges. This is really mellow. This four year age one is actually more flavorful. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to that liquor store now. They might, not, I mean, no, no one goes there, so they might still they have might it. Have, if, you, yeah. if they do, you get me one. I'm just gonna buy a box. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna buy a, a box. Case. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing bad about this. No, this, not at all. Um, this would be a great introduction to somebody. If you're new to bourbon and you're kind of just exploring it, it's very easy to drink, but mm. it's pretty, I don't know, pretty boring to me, honestly. Yeah, it's, it's muted. It's, yeah, muted. Uh, there's mellow. a little bit of spice in there, but it's. Not e I, I can't I'm describe not the spice at yeah. all. It's like pepper. There's a little bit of pepper for me. Mm. And there's a little bit of sweetness. There's a tiny touch of oak, but it's not, it's very, everything's turned down. I feel like it, it, it gets lost okay. amongst the, you know, the lineup. Well, we're going to be lost if we don't keep moving. So let's keep going. The next in the Whiskey Row series is their Bottled in Bond, mm. uh, 1897. This, uh, this one's kind of to commemorate the Bottled in Bond Act of 1897. And... That was kind of one of the first laws that regulated um, regulated bourbon, bourbon, regulated whiskey. Actually, True. any distilled spirit. Distill, yeah. um, you know, there's Apple Jacks out there that are bottled in bond. You could technically, I think, have anything um, anything bottled in bond. As long as it's made in America and really? aged in a bonded warehouse and comes out at 100 proof. If everything that goes into it is from one distillation um, season and they follow all those rules, from what I understand, you can call it a bottled and bond. I mean, oh, okay. uh, Applejack is the one that I know for sure. I mean, that's brandy made from apples, and I've seen bottled and bond Applejack made in the U.S. that uh, has followed all those same rules. So oh. we're at a little bit of a higher proof here, 100 proof, same as our intro here. You guys getting anything different? Yeah, so no. I, feel like, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's just it's beginning. slightly, it's beginning. slightly louder. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm still struggling with, like, fruits. You know, I'm going to call an audible here. Whoa. Dutch is offset. I mean, you know, look, we're already drinking like 20 whiskeys here. Just just humor me. I mean, try a little sip of the, of the regular 100 proof. Okay. Side by side. I'm not going to pour you guys a lot. Just a sip. I thought you were going to do a blend. <laughs> no, no. Well, you can try that later. But I, based on my short-term memory, I, I don't know that... Uh, Hmm. This is bolder. It is. <laughs> They're very similar. 
No, this is still bolder. This still feels muted, actually. When I have them they're pretty similar. Now. I don't. I don't, I don't know which one I would pick. I, would, I don't either. I would probably pick neither. I agree, well, but but I mean, come on, we've got a pretty big price difference here. Yeah, and I feel like you're paying for some marketing with this guy. It is not considerably better. No. Well, but it is noticeable. Uh, it's, it's not that noticeable to me, honestly. Yeah, for the price difference, I would go with that. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no. Yeah, I don't. It's, I don't know where it fits. It's just. It, they're so similar to me. They really are. Mm. I mean, maybe this is aged a little bit longer. Mm. Maybe. But it's not that much better. Maybe a little bit more refined, but not. not. I don't know, guys. This still feels really muted compared to the. Uh, so you would actually pick this over, no question? Yeah, I think I could in the blind. Yeah, I, don't it, know. I did a blind. I'm never I can barely tell these apart, honestly. I mean, in Dutch's scenario know. with the uh, post apocalyptic bar with only the two, Dylan yeah, I'd still two. pick that one. I yeah. guess. Yeah, if you only had these two to pick from. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, for price, I'm definitely. I mean, I'm this. not even talking about price. I'm just talking about from the flavor. Mm. I can't. From I the flavor point of view. I can barely tell them apart. Mm. I yeah. don't know. All right. Well, hey, let's keep moving. Let's see if things change. We know that things are really going to start changing here. So let's, let's get ready for that. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. We're keeping moving with the, uh, the whiskey row here. And now, technically, the 1920 came out first but since it is such a higher proof point we're yeah. going to go to the 1910 next we're going to build up to it which um this is kind of their toasted barrel this is uh a, now a regular production and it's uh they they did like a second maturation in a i don't know they called it like a Light, heavily, it, no, heavily lightly charred. toasted heavily charred lightly, there you go <laughs> um and this hits us at 93 proof but it does have that second maturation so very dark very dark in color Compared to the rest of wow, the Wow, what a difference, right? And it imparts a ton of flavor. Yeah, I, I mean, that. you got to you gotta divide it, like, right here. Okay, yeah, right? yeah. This, mean, is, this is another ballgame. You can already tell from the nose. I mean, the way it coats the glass, the color, everything about this one is just... Mm. Uh, oh, so much sweeter. Um, molasses, just breaking through with the summer peach, the the stone fruit, the cooked fruits. Yeah, I'm getting... That's where you're getting a lot of this Finally getting some finally. nectarine. Yeah. Oh, so good. Yeah. Like cooked nectarine. It's very good. It's mm. really good. Mm -hmm. It's really good. And, and it doesn't drink hot. It's no. 93 proof. It, it, it tastes like a low proof, it does. but it has a lot it of flavor. Like, you yeah. know what it is? It, it, it tastes like, I mean, it feels like water in that it's, it, it doesn't it's have over. any harsh edges. It's over. liquid. But it still has that beautiful sweetness. Uh, the oak is right there, but it's not overwhelming, it's not overwhelming, which is really great, which is really nice. Because sometimes the toasted ones, you could have a lot of wood and weird things. Yeah, no sourness. No, nope, not um, at all. And we'll do a little sneak peek here. We did do a blind of toasted barrels. I don't know if it's going to come out before or after this, but... Uh, <laughs> so why'd you bring it up? Aren't you the one to about continuity on the show? <laughs> well, that's why I said I don't know if it's going to come out before. If it's already come out, we'll link to it. Well, if you don't know, don't say anything. It. If it hasn't oh, come out, then God. just look forward to it. It's something to look forward to. He's been drinking. <laughs> only the <laughs> horrible like Um... Okay, definitely the winner so far. No mm -hmm. doubt, right? Yeah, so far, yeah. All right, well, let's, let's see. Let's go. Let's, let's keep going. All right, moving on to the uh, Bourbon World's darling Old Forester 1920. This is the uh, kind of the cap to the, the uh, Whiskey Rose series. This is their Prohibition era, high proof, 115 proof Woo! bourbon. Man, people love this stuff. Um, I will admit to not being the biggest fan of it, but certainly appreciating it for what it is at a readily available, fair price point. Dude, it's always on the shelf. Man. Yeah. I prove. I mean, I do have this on my shelf. I always have this on my shelf. Yeah. I mean, even though it's not my go-to. I, I even at store shelves. Oh, damn it. Look how much I spilled on that, dude. What is... <laughs> You'd think that after how many times I've poured, I'd be a little bit better at it. But yeah, you already think. had five. Oh, oh, sugar, sugar, the <laughs> oh my god, the brown sugar, the molasses comes through. So oh, that nose is amazing. Yeah, oh. the um, dude, no, the mouthfeel, the cooked, so the good. cooked jam, the fruit. Um, oh, yeah, we're still on the nose because we're letting it uh, open. Hurry up! <laughs> oh wow, right? I mean, you know, I think its only flaw is perhaps the age. 
in some ways. Um, mm. That was that's been my criticism. Although yeah. I would say for the price and what you get, probably best bang for the buck. Oh yeah, it was my like you know, it's, uh, a, it's a heavy big man. choice. Yeah, it was. I mean, it, it's it's it consistently will outperform, you know, at its price point. No yeah. doubt, it'll be. I don't think it doesn't even drink its proof. It doesn't. It's, it feels it doesn't. really it low. Yeah. I mean, I'll tell you, like the only reason that I don't rave about it as much as everybody else is that I do find that that tannic oak note is there, yeah, it and is. I, it does hit my palate. It's definitely yeah. more prompt for me on the finish. It's, it's definitely higher than what we've had before, even yeah. with the double. Yeah, I would yeah. say this is slightly higher in terms of the wood, right? Yeah, the oak. Yeah, and it's just it's one of those weird things with this one that I feel like it it happens to hit that. Oak frequency for me that is a little bit off putting. Mm. More on the finish. On the yeah. finish. Yeah. I, mean, I the love finish the nose. Right. I love the initial hit on the palate, but then as it's lingering, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's not. This is what I mean by the age, right? I, th I feel like slightly longer age, sort maybe even a 12, maybe a 12 uh, year of this, age stated 1920. I think it would mellow out and it would refine some of those rough edges a little bit more. But of course, if they did that, the price point probably would be through the roof. Yeah, at this agreed. Point. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Okay. Okay, let's keep moving, guys. All right, guys. Up next, um, and I, I'm, I'm arguing that we're a little bit out of order here because I think he thinks it should be. I think Statesman should go next uh, because it is a little but higher proof. But we are going. We're doing this for a reason. And we'll get to that. Um, and so the next one up here, it does share the same motif for the most part, but this is their single barrel. Release and they've just recently started doing a hundred proof picks of these. This one is one of the 90 proof picks, but these are you know single barrels and they do give you info of you know warehouse and floor number. And we got the name of whoever picked this one. This just um, actually this got sent to me by mistake, honestly. <laughs> I had ordered a different um, full proof barrel pick and they sent me this one by mistake, but you know, what? oof, oof. That's a big difference, but uh, yeah. yikes! Didn't they, didn't they send you an email saying like this one's better anyway? Uh, yeah, I was like, well, <laughs> maybe, but it's a completely different product. Yeah, I know. Um, you know, these are yikes. out there, and, and you'll find these for as low as forty bucks. Mm. Yeah, I know. There's a liquor store near me. Um, same thing. Like they have boxes and boxes of it. Of they did it. Yeah, yeah. they, they don't fly off the shelves, and I've I've tried a few of them, and I think they're delicious. I mean, the nose. Sugar. Sugar. It's like a muted. It's very muted. It feels very dry. You know what it feels like? I feel like I'm going back over here. A little bit. Right? It's just... I don't know. I just... No. This has a lot of flavor. Yeah, this has, this has it's, flavor. It's, it's somewhere around this. Okay, so let me ask. Would you pick this over... I'd pick it over all of these. Really? Okay. Yeah, I would. The, I mean, the only one, I think you start giving it a run for its money here. And these are just different experiences, but this this has, the barrel pick has more flavor. It's more well-rounded than any of these, and it has a lot more flavor, a lot more sugar, you know, a bit more oak. And I feel like if we didn't have this after 115 proof, it yeah. would drink a little more bold than we're getting. So right I, I, I want to refine this. I would pull the urethane one up, and I'd say this one over mm. these three. But this one obviously doesn't count. It's interesting. But it is yeah. still, I felt like this one. Well, I will say, I mean, at, at 40 bucks, that's a great taste. It's a bourbon. great, yeah. It's a great taste. Yeah, but I got this for $9.99. Well, in the real world, <laughs> Dylan, where everybody lives. Except Dylan. Except Dylan. Um, I, yeah. And again, your mileage is going to vary because this is a single barrel. And somebody else's pick might be way better, might be way worse than this. We don't know. Um, but they, these are. They're cool. They're cool to see. Uh, I think we should have probably actually had that around here at 90 proof. I know. Now that I've had it, I think, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, <laughs> so it, it, I, and I, I think that's part you. of the problem is that our yeah. proof has been getting, you know, we're in the 100 Higher proof, 93, 115, and we're back down to 90. 90 it's just kind of so trailed uh, off. Nah, I can separate but it in my mind. Me too. Come on. Give Whatever. me a break. We're professionals. We are, but maybe not. Okay, let's move on. Okay, guys, oh, moving wow. into the Statesman. Love this is it. one movie tie-in. Movie tie-in bourbon. Mm. Um, we talked a bit about movie tie-ins, I think, in one of our podcasts. So check that out on all the major podcast platforms. And this is a 95 proof. And the, the marketing materials say for this that they, obviously, it was released in conjunction with the uh, Statesman movie, the no. uh, Golden Circle. What was it called? 
Yeah, it's uh, uh, Kings. Kingsman. 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 Two. Kingsman Two. <laughs> Whatever yeah. Kingsman Two we is. Are so yeah. bad. Um, this one came out, and it, you know they said they 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 picked barrels. I think from like the hottest part of the warehouse. Mm -hmm. So it's supposed to have creme a de la creme, right? I call it the Barrel baby pick. birthday bourbon. Yes, we do call this baby birthday because it, in our minds at least, I think it it shares a lot of the flavor components that you get out of a birthday bourbon. And you can still find these older versions. And you can get them. Well, I mean, because the newer birthday bourbons have changed. True, true. the recipe. Bit, but... It's a great nose. It's sugar. Oh. It's a sugar and baking oh. spice on the nose. It's so good. It's so good. Hmm. The this is just rich, 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 rich. It it's is so, well so different, so different. Yeah, easy favorite. So I would far. say easy favorite so between far. the 1920 and the Statesman. I, I think the daily would be the Statesman. Yes, right. I would almost always pick Statesman. I, I just I love this flavor profile. You know it's, what it is? It's so nice. It's the very very um, balanced honey. That kind of cuts through and, and, and it's mellows the, it yeah. out. It's the baking spice. It's 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 in there. It's a lot of the stuff that people associate with birthday bourbon. Right. It has it. It's, 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 it's at different levels. It's not as intense, maybe, but it's there. The only flaw is the age, I think. Um, I think a little bit higher proof, too. Maybe 100 proof and a little bit older, and mm -hmm. it would just be killing it. I'm just happy that this is a regular production. Thank mm -hmm. you. Um, please keep going oh. because, boy, I love it. I mean, it, 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 of the regular production lineup, it's my favorite of Old Forest. Yeah. yeah. After this came out, I didn't really care. You know, I, I, I mean, didn't miss it as much. Yeah, I didn't miss it as much. That's yeah. the way I'd put it. Um, wow. This is so good. It's that baking spice. It's the baking spice. You, you get the baking spice from Old Forester, so. And there's a lot of sweetness, and it's a great buttery mouthfeel that, mm -hmm. that these don't have that. It goes well with food, I yeah. will say. A great pairing. It's a good, good uh, pick. I would say for people who can't drink the higher proof, like this is a great oh, yeah. alternative and I enjoy it so much that, yeah. you know, it's just... But I would say also, if you're one of those people that loves that baking spice and that sweetness, and maybe you haven't had it in Old Forester and you've tried 1920 and maybe that's not your jam, you got to try Statesman. Yeah. Because you know, you'll get your you'll jam. You'll get it. You'll get your jam. Yeah. Um, but if you're, a, if you're a high proof hound, you're going to go for the 1920 sure. over this for sure. For sure. For sure. Unless you're Dylan, which strangely he is a high proof hound. So I love it. That's not that strange. It's not, but he is strange. He is strange. I'll All right. That. Well, let's keep moving, guys. Mm. Okay, guys. Moving Almost on up. there. Moving on up to the big boys, the uh, the outlier, the uh, highly <laughs> sought after birthday bourbon. Now this is the 2018 birthday bourbon because this is the last. Your the most recent birthday bourbon that I have. Um, I was on a good clip. I had the 16, 17, and 18, and yeah, I was like, hey, I'm going to get the, the 19 and the 20. And no such luck. I feel like the second bourbon boom happened, and I just I couldn't find the, the 2019 anywhere for a good price, and I didn't get it. Yeah, no, good price is a is the key phrase there. Yeah, because you could get you it. You can get this, but and you no know, way. Five hundred dollars later. I will say no. It's like a thousand. That uh, this is still a twelve year. I mean, this was always a twelve year. Right. And then in twenty nineteen, they made it an eleven year. Mm -hmm. And now in twenty twenty, it's a ten year. It's getting down. Um. So I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe old forcers having some. Um, Supply issues. Um, or maybe it's all going to the Statesman. Maybe it's all going to Statesman. I don't know. But I will say, you know, this was the year that they did bump the proof up. And this one is uh, 101 proof. It was. It used to be like in the high 90s usually. Um, so this, I think, is still one of the highest proof ones. I'm not sure what 2019 and 2020 did. But, um, you know, birthday bourbon is Whoa. always a treat. Because, yeah. I, I mean, these wow. are honey barrels. and mm. oh, Cake. Mm. Right, sugars, spice, spice, mm. everything nice. I mean, it's um, it's just amazing. Mm. Just everything's cranked up a little bit. The age is there. You get that finish. The finish is beautiful. The nose is glorious, mm. amazing, just glorious, just amazing. Baking mm. spice yeah. up the wazoo. Mm. Wow, <sighs> what a soft finish with velvety, all, velvety. Yeah, all of the little. Uh, but, nuanced hey, flour and cooked fruits and jams. You know what, though, though on the finish or on, on the palate, what I'm realizing is having this right after Statesman, how similar 
the flavor profiles are. Yeah. I mean, this is turned up. Which makes sense, yeah. Way higher, and oh. this is definitely a better finish, definitely better on the palate, but mm -hmm. in construction, it's very similar. Very similar, and, and, and I think that's because of the very, very uh, cooked fruit forward and spice combination mm. that you get. Because you don't get that in, the in some of these other places. Well, the, the age. age will... Yeah. It just refines it. Yeah. I mean, it's oh really refined. So it's a refined good. statesman. So good. Um, Except this one, you can get everywhere. And all the time. And all the time. And for 50 bucks. And at a reasonable mm -hmm. price. Yeah, because um, yeah, price point wise, I mean, Whiskey Row, these can be in the 30s. Right. You get up into the 40s, yeah. you get up into the 50s for these two. These, you know, the barrel picks can be in the 40s. Birthday bourbon, obviously, you're going to, at the minimum, spend 100 bucks 100. if you can get it at, you know, around MSRP. Um, if you but, don't get it around MSRP, you're spending three, four hundred dollars exactly. They did raise the MSRP on this. I think it's like 100, 100 now, 150, 100, 150. 150, yeah. Which, I mean, I would still buy a bottle at 150 to have it on the shelf, yeah. but, I mean... Beyond that, though... Yeah, seriously, this is not a four hundred, five hundred dollar bourbon, especially you, given all of this. You also hate the bottle. So. I hate the bottle. I love the bottle. You know why? It's because if you can't fit anything else on your shelf. It takes up so much space. Ooh, -hoo. <laughs> it looks great. I know what they're going for, but um, yeah, if you if you want to have a uh, birthday bourbon collection, if you're lucky enough. Like three birthday bourbon bottles mm. takes up the space of like six normal bottles. Just. Put Again, boo-hoo. <laughs> mm. Dylan well, just built another bar. <laughs> In the bunker. Well, he can store <laughs> off the coast of uh, Costa Rica. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. You guys ready to finish this off? Let's go. Yeah, let's let's go. do it. Go. All right. We'll be right back. All right, everybody. The last bottle. We saved this for last. Mainly because it's just the highest proof. I mean, um, th this is a new release from Old Forester. They're doing their single barrel select program, but they are giving people the opportunity to buy barrel strength. Woo! So, so this clocks this? in at 128.8 proof. Strong enough for it? Pretty good. 64.4% right. alcohol. They've got this kind of blue motif here. This is a KL pick. Which why, why not 130 though? Right? They're almost yeah, there. You know, Dylan, almost only, there. Dylan only recognizes 130. It's single barrel, so they can only do what the barrel says. And this is from Warehouse I, Floor 1, which I do think it's cool that they show all that. Because mm -hmm. the super nerds out there are like, oh, well, you know, Warehouse whatever is the best, and the higher floors or the lower floors or whatever you get a different experience. Um, we don't know the age, I will say that. They don't put they an age statement on these. Which I've always thought is a little strange, but the single barrel program, I feel like, obviously they know the age. Yeah. Why not put it on the bottle? Um, I would appreciate that, but... Maybe it's because it's younger. Mm -hmm. That's my guess. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I mean, this is the highest proof Old Forester I've ever had. And the oh, color is glorious. You can, you can get it on the nose. Hmm. It's a, it's a different nose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so, different. you know, let's... let's we got to talk about these oh. two. Hmm. I, I think I actually slightly prefer hmm. this nose over the 1920. It's a little bit hmm. richer. Like, all the flavors are deeper. I know why you like this. It's less wood. Yeah, it is. It's less wood. Yeah. It's less wood than 1920. I think... It's, it, it's spicy. This is spicy. Yeah, it doesn't drink as hot, though. Uh, yeah. th this drink's hotter than the 1920. Really? Yeah. No, yeah. I don't think so. I don't think so. I get, think so. I get yeah. the, um, I get like a clear, bright fruit flavor on this one that yeah. you don't get on the others. I mean, there's a really nice mm. fruit component to this that almost none of the other ones have had. But we kept talking about fruit for these two. So what's the difference? Not stewed. It's bright. I was gonna say this, this, this is raw. This is it's, it's ripe. This. It's ripe, ripe fruit. Ripe not raw. the not the yeah. stewed or cooked jam. Yeah. It's that bright it's fruit, like summer fruit. Yeah. That's what you get. Yeah. It um, powers right through, all the way through the finish. It, I, it, it's very unique among the lineup. Mm. Um, mm. Really good. No, that, that's spice. <laughs> there yeah, is a spice, man. The, the proof is... I don't know. It doesn't. It's not. It doesn't taste like high proof to me, though, folks. Uh, to me, it definitely drinks hotter than the 1920. Agreed. I'm I much don't, hotter. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think this one has a little bit of that bite in it. And it's a, it's a nice bite. It's a pleasant bite. Yeah. I'm actually shocked. If I if I That's drink nice, this man. blind, I would not have thought this was 128. I think I'm I'm thinking like 110, 
110. It's definitely above 100. I'll give you that, but not 128. No, 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 no. To me, it, it, it kind of drinks at proof. For me, me too. Mm. Me if, too. If I drank this and you told me it was 128 proof, I'd be like, yeah, okay, I get it. Mm -hmm. It's hot. I mean, it's giving me the hug. I'm feeling me it. Too. Not in a bad way. It's not off putting. It's a good kind of hit. Can I just say, after all of that, I'm kind of disappointed. In this? Yeah. I'm a little disappointed, folks. I, and here's the reason what why. What did you want? You know what I love? The reason why I love High Proof is because I want the jam, liquid form of jam. Yeah. And I, I feel like I'm a little let down. It's too young. Yeah, it's not. I know what you're saying. This is, I know other people will, I know people will disagree with me because people are obviously hunting this like crazy. But when you drink through it like this, right? It's uh, not the standout. Yeah, it is not. Yeah. It it's doesn't stand, stand out. out. Yeah. I mean, this obviously stands out. Yep. Um, Statesman still is up there, yep. even yep. even after this. 1920 the 1920, man. Even I that's mean, not my favorite, it's definitely a standout. I, 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 I'm going to casually look for this now. Yeah. You know, I, I won't I'm overpay. Not, I won't overpay. 60 70 bucks for the yeah, proof I would pay for it but uh I mean it I would love to see some older ones come out you know and, and what I'm kind of thinking of I, and I get exactly what you're saying is like when we've had some cask strength single barrel 10 11 12 years stuff I mean even some of the MGP stuff like you get that rich stewed fruit very very like well rounded this is it's, you can tell it's the age that's left. Okay, so th this is what I would have liked. I would have liked the flavor profile of either this or this at this strength with whatever age you wanted to give it to me, you know? But the problem is I didn't get this at this higher proof. True. What I got was starting to down here at the higher proof. Yeah. And yes, I get you know a little what, bit of more. You know what this is? This is this. It, like cask strength plus maybe a few couple of years yeah the older older version yeah. with you know you, you can with pick a bit up, of it yeah it's all there. there there is fruit it's just it's not rich fruit yeah like i want this at cask yeah. right i want the barrel proof these or cask or super high proof on that i didn't get it i'm sorry i didn't get it on this well i will say uh i applaud old forester for doing some stuff at barrel strength um i don't think it's bad by any stretch oh yeah i would easily pay msrp for those no question i pick those up over everything actually i would pick it up over everything here down um maybe even over statesman just because statesman's easy to find mm, no I, I, you, I i know you don't like 1920 but 1920 still sends out yeah no even I agree. amongst I agree. this i agree like, no, I agree. it doesn't right. kill this. It, it does kill. not kill 1920. Yeah. In a blind, uh, we would probably prefer 1920. I'm just going to go out on a limb. Yeah, because this one has even much me. more... Even me. <laughs> yeah, even the, the... This has the cooked jam that's uh, very, very prominent. Yeah. And it has a little bit of that bite that cuts through, and it's, well, I will it's say a this. good drink. I'll say it, it was a uh, tall order for Old Forester to try to top anything in this lineup. True. Um, now, they've also recently released their 150th anniversary bottles they've got three different ones of those heard great things hard for us to find here on the west coast haven't seen them anywhere um but um i've I, from what i understand those definitely top out against the 1920 whether or not they would stand out in this lineup remains to be seen so we'll have to do another one of these once we get our hands on the <laughs> on the 19 uh, or the 150 anniversary so uh, after this ridiculously long drink through any closing thoughts jules no, no, no. <laughs> no, not closing thoughts. Which one would you pick? I can only pick one. You can only Is pick one. Day you scenario? gotta pick one. You gotta pick one. Oh. You just tried everything. And, these, okay, and, so and it even on. counts this. Go okay. to the bunker, two, two regardless scenarios. of price. No, no, two scenarios. Regardless of price and availability. No, no, two scenarios. First scenario, you walk into a liquor store that has all these at MSRP. Which do you buy? <laughs> oh, no, sorry. Not MSRP. MSRP. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, okay, market okay. price. Market yeah. price. One okay. First scenario, you walk into a liquor store. So it's available. Market price. But market price. Which one do you grab? Second scenario, it's uh, doomsday zombie apocalypse. You walk in here on the set, and we're all dead. And these are sitting here. Which one do you pour for yourself, Jules? So market price meaning like secondary prices and all that. Yes, factoring in secondary price. I'll go with Statesman because I do have that. I agree. <laughs> At market price, I would pick Statesman. Oh. Close second, nineteen twenty. Oh, and then third man. would be 19. Yeah, this is tough. Fourth would actually probably be the barrel. You know, I can't I can't believe I'm going to say this, but yeah, the Statesman. I so I, I love that spice. Unanimous man. at wow. market price. We think Statesman's the best bang for the buck. 
Best bang for the buck. At, sorry, yeah, at market price. Market price. Yeah. Not MSRP, by the way. Yes. Um, but, at MSRP, I think we're all picking birthday, right? All right. But zombie? zombie I can actually apocalypse. go for the slightly higher. Just because it's been, you know, it's really? been a, a woeful experience. I think in the zombie apocalypse. Zombie? Yes. I'm going for the dude, birthday. Really? No question. Yeah. You wouldn't go for, you would go for the birthday. Yeah, you know you, you would. would. <laughs> He's rethinking it now. Sure. You're just trying to be yeah. contrarian. Now, Dylan would come in and make his blend of like the barrel strength mixed with the birthday bourbon. Yeah. Because that would be pretty good. This is strong. I mean, you know, I like the strong, so. Yeah. I mean, uh, this is good, but. I mean, if we're picking the standouts, it's it's this, this, and then the, and then this. I think these three. These are the standouts. Are the standouts. I would say the urethane. And this, yeah. You know what this means, right? What? We gotta do a blind. Oh man, <laughs> you know it. We gotta do a blind. Maybe we'll save that for our members only. But anyway, uh, this has been way too long of a video, and we've really drank long. way too many glasses oh, of Old Forester. I'm falling asleep over here. <laughs> Chills is just echoing me again. <laughs> Go for it. Close this out. Tell us what you guys think of the Amen. comments below. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up. If you like this episode, subscribe for more videos from Curiosity Public. Check out our podcast on all the major podcast platforms. Please, if you're interested, consider uh, subscribing to Curiosity Private. That's our uh, membership subscription on YouTube. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy. <sighs> stay curious. By pretty bad. having said that we could um, have omitted these three. No. No, you needed the you contrast, needed man. Rose. You needed the contrast. No, you needed it. This would have been too. fine. Boo. <laughs> you do have a point. This would have been a like, great Because if you only had a one, Boo. you had one to choose from. Here. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. This <laughs> <laughs> is <just> $2, dude. <laughs> Dollar store Dylan. Dollars. Uh, oh, my. Sorry, dude. my diamonds. My diamonds. Oh my god. Alright, that's good.